Yo, I had uh, an issue signing in with the Xbox 360. And I think sometimes it's cancelled. I think sometimes it's caused by the Xbox 360 and the Xbox Series X being on the same network and there's cancel. I think it's caused by both consoles being on the same network. So I've got a, a connect running at the moment. So it's a, it'll fire off. And I think it's to do with a natting issue and sometimes it sends the ports to the Series X and not the 360 and therefore the 360 sort of kick gets kicked out of Xbox Live. Now, the trouble is, if that happens, um, signing back in can be a nightmare. And what I've had was uh, like an error code. And I think I've had this in the past. That's why I'm doing this, to be honest. Um, and the error code is an error 8015190. And you know what? I'm going. I'm going to make a note of that, like in the title of this, because like it's, it's it's such a nuisance. So there's only one way to go around it, really. Your like sort of local profile account will still be on here, right? So you have to sort of get rid of that. You have to sign out, okay? Which I'm not going to do right now. So I'm not going to go through all of that. You have to sign out, and then you have to go all the way over to settings right this this stage may not be necessary this is just the full thing to get this sorted out if if needs be you know you try one thing if that doesn't work try another right go over to storage so what i did was i deleted the profile so if i go to all devices and profiles scroll scroll down to that profile choose that and then just delete that profile okay that's the first thing. The next thing you do is you go into the memory unit and you find the profile in there and potentially delete it in there if it's in there. If it's not, don't worry, because you, what you can do is you can go to device options here and you can go to clear system cache as well. All right. So that's the, the place where the profile was stored. So device options clear system cache that's in case the profiles got corrupted really these options then you go into all devices or the other way around you could do this section first system items and then you, you have to delete the profile first by the way so you can then do this next or, or do the clear system cache you want to delete content cache and then if you can see the cloud gaming thing in here delete that cache as well it's only cash. It's not going to do any harm. Now, I don't seem to have the cloud saved, so I'm going to turn that on. Cloud storage for saved games. That's going to start doing its stuff. It'll take a while to do that. But um, if I go back into all devices now, maybe I'll see it in the system. So content cache, cloud storage cache. You want to delete all of that crap, really. Then retry downloading your profile. Now it could be, and this isn't often used anymore because of the Microsoft Authenticator app, it could be that you're signing in with an incorrect password. You could be signing in with your Microsoft password and you've got an app password enabled. So you have to go and reset or regenerate a new app password as well if you don't remember the old one. I think they're valid indefinitely, do you know what I mean? So, but um, you might have to regenerate a new app password. And you do that by going to, um, it's like in the security section, you go into your Microsoft account, you click on security, and then it's somewhere like advanced settings, I think. I'm just logging in as we speak, which I don't want to show you that, but advanced security options, click on that. And then scroll all the way down to like app passwords. And you just want to, you can remove all your existing ones or just create a new app password. So then you can sign in with your email address for your Microsoft account and then your app password. And if you find that that still doesn't work and you know you've got the correct password and things like that, and it will like authenticate and then start trying to download your profile and then error out. If you find that still doesn't work, then here's the real like, 
piece piece the resistance if you like um what you have to do is you have to go into your account and toggle a game pass recurring bill billing on and off right that's what i did um i don't know what happens if you haven't got anything that you've got a subscription for i tried to toggle my minecraft realm subscription on and off made no difference i then turned off my um goal, game pass ultimate subscription the recurring billing worked fine in the past when i've had this issue and i couldn't remember the steps that's why i'm doing this video to remind myself um in the past i had to turn on the recurring billing for my game pass ultimate subscription i don't know what happens like there's no game pass you know there's no gold anymore so maybe game pass core is the same thing i don't know but yeah toggle with your subscription failing that then there's going to be a lot of googling to try and get things sorted out but it's a real pain in the ass when this goes wrong and i think in future what i'm going to do is if i'm going from one console to another from the series x to the 360 i'm just going to turn off the series x then fire up the 360 rather than just flick across to it and back and forth type thing might make life a lot easier All right that's my how to sort an xbox 360 sign in issue video out take it easy